Hey guys, it's Daryl's Probs here, and this is how you get a custom resource pack for custom music. So first of all, you want to go to this website and download the official Minecraft resource pack at the bottom of the page. And secondly, you need to go to this website called Audacity, if you haven't got it already and just click on whatever operating system you have. I have a Windows, so I'll just download that one. Okay, so once you've downloaded Audacity and the resource pack, open up the resource pack, get rid of that, and all we're after is the sounds, okay? So what I do is, first of all, you need to open a new folder, okay? So have that one open up, just minimize that, go back on there, copy all them, paste them into here, get your sounds, copy that, and paste that into there. Now we can just delete that, that's fine. Now we're going to open up this. Now I'm just going to sort by view list, there we go. So this is how, this is like your resource pack, if you like. Um, so you can go into these sounds, now the ones I always use are these note block ones because I don't really see a lot of people using note blocks, but you can change any of them, it's entirely up to you. So these are all the things you can do. There is a total of seven, okay? Now, if you are using these, please make sure that nobody presses the note block on the game because, yeah, you'll find out it just causes problems. But anyway, that's that part done, okay? So we'll leave that like that for a minute. Um, oh, there is just one other thing. You wanna go into this manifest. This is a program called Sublime Text. Um, it's better to me than Notepad++, it's just easier. Um, yeah, you just want to change this thing here, the UUID. Now, I would just change some random numbers because it's easier than going online <laughs> finding this stupid code. But yeah, you could do something like that, let, and just hit save, and that's saved. That's very important because that's set as the bog standard Minecraft and everyone will be using that one. So you want to get rid of that. Block sounds, just leave that, it's fine. The pack icon, you can change that if you want. Like, so, you know, if you want to use something like a nice pack or something, you could do whatever you want, but I'm just going to make it black. And I put a diamond on here, so I'm just going to chuck that in the middle, like so. Place it, and then file, save as, and I want to put it as a PNG, okay? And it will replace this PNG in here. Hit OK, done. No, and then get rid of that. In here now will be a diamond block. See? So that's my pack, okay? Right, now this is why you need Audacity. Now whatever song you are playing or whatever you're doing, you need, you can just use MP3s, okay guys? So here I have a firework boom sound. Now just put it in your Audacity. You can listen to it if you want, whatever, up to you. But all you need to do is file, export audio, and change it to this, OGG, okay? Because normally on here, it's set as a WAV file, okay? So you need to change it to this, okay? Leave the name as it is, keep it on the desktop, it's pretty easy. Hit OK. That's that one. And I also have <laughs> a classic, I'm blue dabba dee dabba die, but this is like a hardcore version. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna like trim it a bit, just so you get like a 
taster. I don't want to do the whole thing because it would take forever. So same again, export, keep that like that, save, hit OK, exit out of that. So now we've got these two things here, okay? Now it's the traffic cone because I'm using this, I've got a media player, but yours might not be that, it might be something else, it might be just like a normal notepad file or something, I don't really know. But these two, I just want to drag them in to sounds, and we got them there, and then we can just put them into note, and they're there, okay? Now I'm going to replace harp and hat, okay? So all you have to do is do this, hat, harp, okay? Exactly like they are. And guys, believe it or not, this, we're almost done. So that's that. Now we want to rename this folder, just call it diamond custom music and there is actually one more thing I need to show you it's entirely up to you but you can change this to whatever you want so again I'll call it diamond music by Dan Robs props okay and then we can just highlight that copy that and paste that in there so then hit save it's that and now we've got this diamond music okay now you need to get onto your minecraft windows 10 like folders if you know what i mean i have a link i'll post my link in the description of the video but obviously your computer stuff's going to be different to mine so yeah I always have it on a notepad anyway it's just easier so then I can just copy and paste and I'm there okay now you want to go into resource packs and I got diamond custom music move that into there okay now that's all in there pretty straightforward and now we're gonna load up minecraft so once minecraft's loaded up go into your settings and you'll see global resources and here it is vanilla resource pack <laughs> I didn't change all the names but you guys can play with that whatever so all you want to do is put plus on that and that'll be up there or you can just go into one of your created worlds and you know you can just add it like that if that makes sense from here look I could just add it here okay pretty straightforward I don't want this to be multiplayer. I want to have cheats on. Um, I'm going to put that on. And yeah, let's hit create. Right, guys, once your world's loaded up, you want to. Well, first of all, I should have picked creative because I also can't use command blocks. You can do it like this if you like. So you can test it if you know what I mean. So you need to put play sound, okay? And because we chose note, you want to do note first, point, and then we're going to do hat, and then at P. Yo, listen up, here's the story. As you can see, your ears are probably bleeding. But I have a custom world, song. And all day and all night and everything <laughs> he sees is body. There you go. So if you want to stop the sound, you just do stop sound at P, okay? Now, another way you can do this as well is by commands, okay? Like I've done in my skyblock map. Now, you just want to give yourself a command block. Whoa. Like so. And then, again, just type in the same command. Play sound. We'll try the other one this time. Uh, harp. At P. And then we need a button. It should be a firework explosion. There we go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But that is it, guys. I mean, and then all you need to do is just save and exit or whatever you want to do. But if you do add more, okay, you want to say, like, if I wanted to add more more songs now or something um 
you need to delete the original file and then put it back in because it just messes up it doesn't work right okay because it's like it's already saved on your system if you know what I mean so say if I went back on here and okay back on to my file access all my files again like I'm trying to tell you here I would actually copy that now and then paste it on the desktop okay so you got it there and then just delete this okay because you don't want that because if you have that it's it just causes problems trust me some of the songs don't play and it just goes all weird okay but as well you want to go into minecraft worlds as well and delete that one as well okay this this is like all your worlds i know it's in blah 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 language <laughs> But you can just find out which one it is by just hitting date modified. And obviously that's the time in the morning it is. Um, but yeah, you got that there. And I can just delete that in there like that. Okay. But guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you get custom music on the Windows 10 edition. And obviously you can transfer that to realms and you can have it on your Xbox One and Pocket Edition. So that's how you get it on the Bedrock Edition if you like. Uh, I'm Darren Probs. Thanks so much for watching and yeah I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!